where there's a um, a shit covered hill giant that looks like he's the simpleton of the group. Um, and he seems to be feeding things to two very hungry um, Otiugs. It's kind of just chucking okay. shit into their mouths and l- chuckling to himself uh, as he's doing uh, this. Knowledge nature, Otiugs? Uh, this particular area um, has a crude log that spans the waterway. It looks like they do a lot of their slaughter in this room. Mm-hmm. And the Otiugs are like eating leftover carrion. Um, I just want to know if they sent, if these creatures sense some, have an extra sense other than vision. Knowledge of nature, knowledge, what? This this hill giant is covered heads to toe in pig's blood. Um, he's he's got a great axe, and uh, he's wearing a weird gavel around his neck, like on a pendant. Knowledge of religion. Sure. Twelve. Well, if I wasn't useless. Yeah, the, Only. the gavel doesn't look like it's made for uh, giant hands. Okay. It's like a judge's gavel, right? Like a. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, screw that shit. The water is uh, pouring in through here, and a lot of the blood is. Uh, um, going into the into the river. I'm gonna try to get around this thing. Do, 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 do. Water is pouring in this way. <clears throat> Zero treasure. Treasure in my left knot. <clears throat> what are these, Marty? What is this? That is a ladder that leads up. Ah, well, let's check that out. Is this open up here? Yep. Oh, well, shit. Sh- shirt's on. So well, first that. first you glanced into the other area. It looked like the sleeping area for the, um, uh, giant. For the blood-covered giant. There's a sleeping pallet, a barrel p- filled with pig snouts, a half barrel of vinegar, an old crate, some rusty iron cages, flies buzzing around one of the crates. Um, okay. Okay. A half-eaten corpse of a person. Yeah. He ate the upper half. Asshole. All right. Um, up, up the stairs we go. And what are these circles, Marty? Are these the ones back to the in area twelve. Uh, yeah, those those are the those are the grates that lead up to the uh, room where um, Chico right. is. And, and there's another one back here. Uh, it is a great that you didn't go look at. Okay, so we'll go up to six, and then we'll go to the other one. Yeah. Okay, going up into this area, invisible. I'm um, going to check for traps. Well, I got my spot thing anyway. You've but... got trap sweater on. Yep. Uh, this is a larder. Hooks pr- um, protrude from the walls. The floors are stained with blood. Some dry, some others. Hungry flies buzz about angrily uh, as you disturb them, only to land quickly on meat. This place is... Uh, has a lot of meat that is um, uh, that is hung here, most of it which is pig and sheep. You actually notice that there's one hook that's isolated from all the rest, and there's an orc that, that's, like, <laughs> up on the hook. Okay. Okie doke. <laughs> um, we'll get into... <laughs> so I'll grab the guys. We'll go up here. Okay, you can hear... What languages do you guys speak? Uh, oh, hang on, I'll get... Uh, no, Sylvan, Voslandic, Druid, Elven, Giant, Dwarven, Celestial, Orc, Draconic. Giants are really not on a sensible diet. Nothing but pigs. That's gonna go straight yeah. to his ass. <laughs> and <coughs> Remy speaks Gnomish, Sylvan, <laughs> Radahan, Slave Tongue, everything. Elven, Dwarven, Ignan, Orc, Giant, the Golden Tongue, Voslandic, <laughs> Draconic, Halfling, and Orin. Was, was Goblin in there anywhere? Hey, Clover Nuts. Nope. <laughs> I like that name. All giant, right, so I have Giant. Goblin. Uh, oh, uh, hey, Kitchenette, what's going on? Goblin? Ooh, um, goblin, 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 Goblin. Nope! No, Mish. <clears throat> And you can hear the sizzling sound of bacon. 
is actually the, the first place in this place that actually smelled okay is the next room over. The cooking room. Okie dokie. So the greasy stain, the, the greasy stain that goes between area five and four, it kind of represents, uh, looks like they drag the meat because it's better for the tasting um, <laughs> along the floor okay. in the next room. <laughs> so let's let's head back down. Okay. And then we'll swing back, pass through these guys over here and over here. Whoever was just joined, we have basically plus 30 some, plus 40 stealth, and these guys are not. And they're invisible, stuff. yeah. And we're invisible, yeah. And we'll go up to. This, this is this how 10th level druid slash rogues handle um, a dungeon full of humanoids. <laughs> <laughs> basically. Okay, popping your head up through the grates, like it's actually big enough for you to look through, uh, you find mm -hmm. a barrack full of more orcs. Guys, this is how we level! <laughs> uh, most, of them, they... most of them are sleeping or lounging around. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a lot of summons during this fight. Because this is too much meat. Well, right. Tigers, wait, tigers, no. tigers, 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 tigers. You haven't found, like, women and children yet. Nope, we have not. But uh, there are still women. other places. These, these, <laughs> these uh, half giants are female. Um, the crabby, okay. crabby um, face looking ones. <laughs> oh, I did not notice. Right, and then she goes. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, you don't find um, any female bugbears or orcs, though. Okay. Um, do you want to go the long way out or the short way out? Um, there's still a bit more to look. Somebody, somebody Where? must have told a joke again because you can hear laughter upstairs. Uh, do you want to stealth into into this area? <laughs> what, what was it this time? You can hear this guy. Oh, you gotta stand guard. Don't make me poke poke you in your sore again. Hey. What? Sorry, I was muted. Uh. We should finish look checking at... what's in this building. Hey, you want my club again? And there's the other building on the hill too. We need to. He, he'll it. just he'll just hook himself on your back. Like, go for it. All right. Follow. I'll follow you. Um, check out a hook. I'm a little I'm a little diminutive bat. That's yeah. why. Why is my? What are you trying to do, Mark? I'm trying to. Okay, the area just above four. Yep. Right here? Yeah, just above mm -hmm. four, the area. We haven't uh, area. scouted that. Yeah. Oh, I Thank see. You. Like, yeah. like, Why can't I do that? Uh, it's fog. Uh, you That's can't, not... <clears throat> can't go there, yeah. So um, those those red squiggles are like um, um, curtains of leather. Um, you pop your head under and you can see the outside again. Okay. What? Uh, uh. What we done? I don't know. When they come get us, quiet. You see what she did to uh You see what she did to Rock? Uh, but Rock deserve it. He husband. <laughs> okay. There's um, a hill giant that is there, picking her nose. When you um, like just really going at it, like like digging for treasure. Uh, when you come around the corner and there's like a horrible smelling um, uh, kennel, and they've got these okay. dire wolves just packed into really small, and cramped places. I pull, I pull, I pull on you. Like, don't get any closer. <laughs> like, get back, get back, get back. Uh, a couple of the dire wolves start growling. <laughs> Hey, you fucking shut up in there! He's shut making. Up in there. She's rattling the cases and yelling and, and just bashing at the bars. Uh, and, can... and we're gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> Angry. Yeah, they're they're temperamental. And um, there is two more things that we did not check. Yeah, I want to check those two. So there is there actually there's three things. Sorry. There's one, which is the. the there's, so there's this the area here, children, right? We didn't. We did not find children. children. 
No. No. Oh. Okay. So Marty, if you want to go to Grug Hog, Grug yeah. Hog, the, the main map, there's this we didn't check. That yeah. one. There's this we didn't check. Yes. And I don't think we checked this yet. Correct. Okay. Um and so, so let's check it. <laughs> yeah, we'll 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 check we'll check them uh we'll start we'll start yeah. here. We'll start, start the big where? one. Okay, the, the so you, big you tower. fly up to the tower. It <clears> is <throat> a watchtower, uh, and there are some orcs that are on duty. They are actually watching out on the, under the river more, or under the lake more, and you can see them actually pointing and talking about something. Do you guys speak orc? Yes. Yeah. Oh, look over there. Oh yeah, there's two of them. I wonder if they're gonna come for, for a visit. Uh, you don't want. You don't want. Wyvern Riders to come for visit. Uh, Wyvern Riders. Uh, where are they looking, Marty? Perception? And I'm I looking out across the lake, that. and you can see... <coughs> yeah, you've got an awesome perception check. There are... And I, I don't have... I, minus five, I ignore for the first distance. Yeah. Why don't, why don't I show you what they look like? By using their tokens. Yeah. The fans are awesome. Oh shit. There are full plate oh, wearing fuck. orcs wearing uh riding uh. wyverns. Uh they're carrying lances. Now these look like guards for a treasury. And the wyverns are mm -hmm. wearing chain shirt barding. Okie doke then. And they're, and they're they're actually flying it looks like they're landed on a little island, uh and they seem to be maybe feeding their wyverns. For some reason, they're, they've, they're, they've maintained their distance. But uh, let me show the... the... That's what they look like. does, it, does, it, does it show us where they're coming from? I don't know why that keeps on saying Ahmed Lemmy. Because but... <coughs> uh, my name is Ahmed Lemmy. <laughs> no, you were selecting it, that's um, why. Like... <coughs> Ahmed Lemmy! Okay. Yeah, that's what sorry. they look like. I'll be back in a second. Okay. So these orcs are talking about the wyvern riders. Uh, you you gather that the wyvern riders are actually from Ruak Durek, or they're trained there. Okay. What, what are the what are the cavalier types called, John? Uh, you mean orders? Yeah. They're called uh, orders. orders. Okay, orders. Yeah. Um, so they they actually say the words order of the order of the wyvern, or wyvern, however you want to pronounce it. Okay. Um, and how far away is this? Like kilometers? Um, no, no. They're they maybe kilometers or something? six hundred feet away from shore on a little island, where it looks like the wyverns have carried a deer and they're eating it. Okay, guys, I can really hear you. Uh, my network is really bad. I'm going to disconnect and reconnect with you, okay? Sounds good. <clears throat> Come on, do it! Hurry up, you bastard! Buy some better uh, APs! <laughs> you guys are having a weapon discussion. Okay. <clears throat> You can poke the other guy. The other guy can't poke you. You're winning. <laughs> which is good until he gets inside of the range of your... Gets past the blade and into your haft, in which case suddenly you have a big stick, and that's about it. <laughs> Stupid giants are so fun to play. <laughs> well, it's one of those... Like, they are... Four... Things. There were four things to be different to make this, like, less clear of a decision on how it's dealt with. And it's not the disgusting thing. Like that's not one of them. That, but that could be. Like that would help if it was like not so gross. But it's like, oh, they're just eating people in the basement. Oh, oh well, well, okay, I guess, yeah. It's, uh, they're eating pigs and sheep. Pigs and sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they could. We'll have a chat with them. So you're <laughs> gonna go and talk to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
It's hilarious. Give give me the give me the mallet. <laughs> give us the stone thing, and we let you live. It's kind of like how the conversation goes. <laughs> Leave Yig. Yeah, it looks like they invested in a bit of infrastructure here. <laughs> Step one, knock down so, Dam. So awesome. It's how we solve our problems. The same way somebody solves a problem that has, like, I don't know, a spaceship with orbital bombardment cannons. Like, oh, you have a thing? Let's destroy it. <laughs> Break your thing. Rook your toy. <laughs> it, it's 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 the not only the weird looks that during descriptions it's some of the descriptions affect each of you differently <laughs> yeah I, I i felt myself going that oh they're they're abusing the dogs the oh, lady yelling at the dogs made adam's face <laughs> do a twitch <laughs> <laughs> Whereas the description of "guh," I think made Mark almost want to tap out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hey, there's a thing in the fat. Oh, God. I can't. Do it. I can't do it. <laughs> oh my God. There's right. still a blank spot. What's going on? Uh, Ahmed's having. Uh... Technical issues? Yeah. His computer's crashing as we speak. Although I just saw him pointing at, at um, map tools. So. No. Maybe he'll be back in a moment. I'm muted, I'm trying to talk. He said his VC just shat the bed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, are you, there? there yeah. is a, uh, a leather um, curtain yeah. here. Remy's going to have a look-see. Okay, are you guys stealthing or are you just whipping around invisibly? I don't know, stealthing. Hey, give, give me a stealth roll without your invisibility, because when you cross the threshold to have a look, you actually start to appear. All right. <laughs> I wonder why. 39. Okay. There is an orc woman in a strange mask and kind of bamboo armor. She's digging around in like one of these really large, uh, uh, really large um, baskets, kind of used to mm -hmm. hold grain and that sort of thing. But she's digging around in it and she stops for a moment. See, so as you cross the threshold, you're like, "Oh shit, my hands appear!" <laughs> you pull back. She sniffs at the air and then wanders over to like some spell components and takes them down and goes back over to the big. Ooh. She's doing something in the in the grain basket. Okay. The room is full of bottles and dried newts and stuff. Like you you found some almost um, stereotypical uh. witch's den. She does have something that's a little bit odd though. She seems to collect beaver tails, and I'm not talking about the pastry. Uh, okay. Uh, and her fur might very well be beaver pelts. Okay. Oh, man, it's going to be really sad. He missed that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> hey, I'm right here. What did what, what I miss? Never mind. Fuck! <laughs> she's grinding up something amongst pebbles or grain. You're not sure what she's doing. You've got zero spellcraft, so she's doing something yeah. weird. But yeah, you, you put your hand through the threshold again and, and you start to appear like her chamber might be anti-invisibility. Anti-invisibility, yeah. Maybe she has a continuous invisibility purge on her. That'd be awesome too. Yeah. Can someone explain to me what's going on? There's yeah, a creepy the, mask lady. There's a shaman or some the shaman in here. Where? In the cave? Yeah, in at number seven. Uh, <clears throat> what the hell is oh, seven? it's spoopy. Look right at by five and six. <laughs> oh, there. Sorry, I yeah. didn't see that. 
So she's she's actually the hardcore. So anti magic in this area, huh? Mm -hmm. Or something. Invisibility doesn't work. I'm assuming you guys are moving away to have a discussion. These orcs uh, have a good laugh at the guy who's who is puking, and the, they're actually helping him get back in. They are avoiding that chamber. In fact, one of them goes like. Shh. <laughs> all right. The kitchen area. Okay. Um. All right. There is the one more. I told you you couldn't drink that stuff without getting sick. Yeah, yeah, too much oil. Okay, let's. Uh, I guess what's left is the, the. Did you check this one already? The, the hut. The hut down below. No. Okay, we can check that, and then we'll check that cave at the far, far right. All right. Okay, so the. Hut or is that down the entrance? Below? Is that the entrance here, Marty? Is that that little cave that, the entrance for these guys? Looks like an entrance. Yep. Yeah, it's that one. Okay, we'll just the hut is left then. Okay. <clears throat> so you fly out of this place. Going down to what sounds like a smithy. You hear the pinging of metal. Okay. This whole building is a dam. Yes. They're insane. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, say we, I say we bring it down. <laughs> Explosives! Get Uker here. <clears throat> Uker, you can make mines now, don't can't you? Hmm. Mm. You should be able to. <laughs> yes, I can. You can start using the, that stuff. Give me the tongs. It looks like a um, a really milky-eyed um, orcish smith is working on a giant or like a large great axe. <clears throat> Okay. He's got some goblin helpers um, that are no. in leather, that are in the leather, like, uh, smith's Jerkins. outfits that, that were made for medium-sized creatures, so they kind of cut them in awkward ways. Um, do we know <clears throat> where the, uh, the riders came from or are going? No, they just seem to be out on a small island, uh, feeding their Eating, wyverns. eating a deer. Um, okay. But we know where the general area is. Okay, okay, that's fine. They hunted deer, so I'll, we'll at least know where their hunter grounds are. Okay, alright, let's head back. Yeah, deer are common on, on Yggdrasil. Yeah, I'm like, eh, alright, so it's somewhere on that side of the lake. Do I know how big the lake is? Yeah, the lake's only uh, maybe about a mile wide. Okay, so it's not that bad. Alright, good. It's a lot of water. <laughs> It should all be just running off the side of, of Yggdrasil. They've dammed it up. We'll have to deal with that afterwards. All right. Uh, let's head back. Let's get out of here. All right. We head back to the, the party. Okay. Um, you, you see a family of, like, there's actual signs that there are a lot of, like, normal beavers that live on the northern side of the dam. Okay. Okay. Is there like a dire beaver or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's got three teeth. Holy shit! <laughs> All right. So you end up flying back to uh, <clears throat> uh, the edge of Tempest. Um, everyone seems to be on edge. I'll just go to conversation layer. Okay. <clears throat> Galath is practicing with Kiarn. They do a couple of charges around the boat and. Are we going to do, like, a special operation where we sneak in, like, plant charges and blow the dam? <laughs> well, I was thinking, I mean, Uker, you've got, um, I mean, you're pretty good with an alchemy set, aren't you? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Can you make, oh, I don't know, poison? <laughs> I'm just saying it'd be an easy way to get rid of a lot of the extra bodies, so to say. There's there's uh, 100 plus. There's orcs, there's giants, there? there's goblins, there's the big, really big, round, squarish, rectangular, I don't know what the fuck. But, um, it's Orfar a mess. wants her dead. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a ton of them. Oh, they're, they're all gonna die. You should make Wait. sure that none of them escape. Are they bad? 
Yep. Uh. Just look at their hygiene. Clearly. <laughs> the chief is one of um, uh, Prince Selnik's daughters. Mm. They dealt. They, they were the ones that supplied the uh, um, the dwarven castle with uh, the ruins. Sorry, with they, they're the ones that supplied them with everything, provisions, so on and so forth. <clears throat> so they dealt with them. Oh, and, we should and, go uh, talk to them then. Really. Mm. <laughs> with my axe, says Logrick. Ah, right. Uh, Uker, what, what exactly do you want to find out? Oh, wait, something important. We did find two um, full plate wearing wyvern riding orc special guard something. Those are mine. Yeah, sure. <laughs> However, those those guys those guys were um, sorry. <laughs> those guys were far away, and I believe they might be the ones that were guarding the treasure. But the treasure wasn't there. There was no such thing. Mm. Well, maybe we need to ask. Maybe map was old. Maybe it was moved. Isn't there supposed to be club? Did yeah. there be club? Didn't see it there. Might well, be underneath one of her folds. Yeah, that's that's what I was that's what I was gonna suggest. There's just like there's or things living in her folds. On it, or ten of them. You'd never know. <laughs> yeah, you'd never know. <laughs> so what were they doing that was bad? Uh clogging the water flow of Yig. Oh, yeah. and and cannibalizing each other. <laughs> yeah, they were killing each other and eating each other. Actually, is that true? We saw a orc on a meat hook in the larder. And they said he deserved it. He was a husband. I assume they talked about him. I don't think so. <laughs> um... Does not look like they were ooh, actually. Ooh. I have a real yeah. player, real player, uh, player request. Blood snow. The fuck is just blood snow? Fuck is I don't know. It's just, I, just, I don't know. I just had an idea. Of, it like, has to be snow so that cold that when you slit somebody's throat, it shoots out. It just turns into snowflakes on the well, way. I was down. thinking about like blood rain as a thing, but like, what if there was blood snow? I don't know. If there's anything in Pathfinder like that, but it just sounds really cool. So let's go to the elemental plane of blood and wait for a snowstorm. There you go. There you go. <laughs> every once every thirty days. It just I'm sure becomes... there's a place like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a place that was something like uh, rough, rough. And a every thirty days what? on the egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, Colonel, I've written the words shit. "blood snow" and question mark. <laughs> and a question mark turn it into something. Do I'll with that as you me. wish. <laughs> I'll, I'll look at that. Um, when he's trying to kill us. All right. Cool. Uh, noted. I'm going to copy and paste that, Kenny. Thanks for the... Uh... So... Can I? What... Mission Impossible. I, I need to know, because I didn't get to see it, so I don't get to draw my own conclusions. I get told conclusions. Right. So um, what were they actually doing that was evil? Um, I describe... I describe everything there. I'm, I'm starting to speak with an Irish accent. <laughs> All right. Um, I describe everything that I saw. Um, so, all right, look, you're asking if they're evil. No, but it's Grand Celtic's daughter. Like, by association. Uh, but sometimes she might not be too bad. I thought you guys that's were working army. for the king but of Didn't Austin. you see? That, that's an army. Right. So we raid. So we show up, we say we require payment for security, they give us payment for security. Yeah, and no, we... no. All right, so this Iker, is the enemy of your king. Iker, there's hundreds of them. Or at least the one surrender. you're bowing to. I didn't Iker, say surrender, I said they. Uh, we announce pay ourselves fee. for inspection. I will detect evil All right. and see if any of it takes their soul. <laughs> So let me let me play this out for you. Um, you want to walk in and ask them to give us payment. Where where there's fewer of us, they're all bigger than us. 
sorry, we're fewer than them. They're all bigger than us. They're not bigger than Uker. <laughs> no, you haven't the, seen the chief yet. <laughs> yeah, G is big, all right. Um, and he, I think they just call her that because when you see her, you just go gah. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Holy golly shit! No, but but listen, here here's the thing: they're not going to surrender, and what we'll be doing is giving up our our um. The element of surprise. Our element of surprise. Uh, first thing we should do is that both of us should go and kill that witch. What need do we have of surprise? Um, oh, when th there's hun Galath, there's hundreds of them. So we faced hundreds before. No, we haven't faced hundreds of giants and orcs, and whatever the hell, whatever the hell else magic tricks they might have, and whatever else might be across <coughs> the lake. <laughs> We're not sure if they summon. What if they call for help? And and maybe twenty riders come on those uh, those wyverns. So what then? Yeah, let's just points at our flying dragon boat. <laughs> Full of your eight level cohorts. <laughs> if we're if we're gonna do this, we have the gods uh, on our side, and we are strong. No, no yeah, we not, have not, not sure the gods, the gods. Thanks. But the gods, the gods, the gods aren't just gonna say, "Go ahead, be stupid, and I'll make sure you are right." No, they want you to make be smart. It's selection. If you're Shall not I smart read enough, you a hymn from the book of the Silver Hand? Oh God, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, Which God are you referring to? God. Ah. Also, don't like it All when right, you let's, let's make slaughter a those who do not deserve slaughter. Right, but it's gonna come to that anyways, Uker. How do you Actually, know? Actually, um, I know. Uh, let me and uh, I bluff Jack. <laughs> <laughs> bluff Jack? I don't have a bluff, dude. No, I'm bluffing. Uh, I'm 25 on my <laughs> bluff. Let me and I worship Yig, and these foul creatures are damming up her waters, which is a sacrilege. You notice a little silver amulet. You notice a little silver amulet around his uh, around his neck actually transforms into the symbol of Yggdrasil. <laughs> so, with knowing you, bonuses, awesome. I know you're not telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he he's he's worn the symbols of like three or four gods since you've seen him. So, mm -hmm. and he seems to really like stealing symbols. <clears throat> I'm not saying that they haven't done something bad, but what I'm saying is that we have to follow the we have to take the proper approach. The proper approach is not to give our give away our, the element of surprise. You keep using this word, let me, surprise. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Uker, Uker. I have an idea, let me. Uker. 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 Linda, 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 yeah. Linda. Linda. Yeah. <laughs> let me. What? Listen, Hi. listen. The treasury is under the water. The treasury is under the lake. All right. All right. Frickin the water you. is to hide treasury. Um, that's that's an interesting way of. I I did not think of going into the lake. Go in lake. What's Uker's intelligence? Eighteen. Fuck you. Oh, it's right. eighteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the alchemist, the fucking alchemist. How smart is the alchemist? Oh yeah, really fucking smart. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's a freaking genius. <laughs> interesting. Um, interesting theory Let me. here. <clears throat> Uh, I can turn into fish, but only for a short time. You can turn into fish for a long time. Oh, for I will carry shit. you to Lake as fish. I just fly there. And then turn into a fish. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just teleport back. One of those flying fishes. Uh, but... Actually, there's... I can turn into something that is amphibious. <laughs> just turn into something that... Like a water fast. elemental. There you go. Actually, there uh, you no, go. I'll turn into an air elemental and cast freedom of movement on myself. Or do that. <laughs> uh, how will you breathe? An air bubble. Boop. Okay. Elementals don't need to breathe. Uh, but people who pretend to, to be elemental need to breathe. Oh, great. <laughs> that whole thing. <laughs> Um, is I'm checking. 
Doesn't that mean that you can't just go like earth gliding around the ground for like hours? Uh, they no. If you turn to the right element, it says you get to breathe in that form. Yeah. So if uh, I'm because he's turning to an air elemental and then going underwater. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I want to be able to get out of there. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> that makes sense. And then your Drassel's made out of wood or a living creature or something strange, so he can't actually use his earth glide, glide on your Drassel, which is no cool. only in certain areas, right? The yeah, yeah. like the you need to get a feat to become a wood elemental. Yeah. There you go. That would be pretty cool. So, or just so. any kind of plant creature would probably be, probably be acceptable. Uh, you might be able to get to all sorts of interesting places that way. <laughs> Regardless, I oh, think I'm that we should have. Now. You know, that's sort of we should have. <laughs> we should approach this with the honor and dignity that we represent our new king temporarily. Uh, Lemmy's just like dumbfounded. Like, hello, Crick. Do you want to weigh in on this? This, <laughs> this, this feels like I hate it's a to place point this out, but your king wants you to go steal crap for him. I don't think he's too concerned with his honor. Hello, he, he may not be, but I am. Facing this in open battle is the most honorable thing I can do. They, they're they're not honorable. Thief. Okay, Lo while you do that... King Lokrik is trying to speak. Damn it. This is an enemy fortification that supplies and supports troops moving to both now... Well, to Vosgard. Is it not? Right. Yeah. I Indirectly, they are part of the war upon the world in which we live. And he looks to who else is from that world. I guess it's just him. <laughs> they're the ones that are tearing up through Yig. I'm not saying they're not lawful com combatants. I'm not saying they're not enemies. But what I'm saying is that I won't skulk in and take them by surprise. I'll face them. What I'm saying is you're going to go and tell We're them to prepare. We're not asking you to. We're just saying let us get in there with a little poison before you get in. <laughs> the nitty gritty. <laughs> uh, no. You can do what you must, but I will uh, face battle. Roll a sense motive, Remy. Oh. I gotta check what my sense motive is. Since you brought this up repeatedly. Yeah, that's an interesting party, Kenny. <clears throat> I will roll my bluff. <laughs> the Sphinx, I can only imagine that as a... No. No, Shut up! I have 24. Uh, Uger actually has a bunch of poison, he just doesn't want to give it to you. <laughs> you have it? <laughs> well, he, he, he kind of gave you a... Like like a he doesn't want you to use it, and his hand instinctively yeah. went to a certain pouch, like clutching it to make sure that it was okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Uker had some poison. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you don't know. It's uh my is it CM. B? No, it's not CMB. Oh, there are ways, Kenny. We've been playing 3.5 and Pathfinder for almost 20 years now. We we can. You can. There are ways to hack up monsters and make them kind of like class levels, and there are the, the Pathfinder to... approach isn't too too bad. Yeah. yeah, there are ways to make it balance ish. <clears throat> it's easy to unbalance, true. Yes, but there are ways to. Most fairy types need nerfs. Mm-hmm. The at will invisibility. No. no. At will free action invisibility. No. Can't do it. Uh. <laughs> The invisibility that doesn't go away and you attack? No. Uh, White Dragon is real fun. I've played that. That's a good character. Um, by good, I mean chaotic neutral, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I cast a spell uh, to help you, sometimes I stab you in the back. So, first we should find treasury. Then we need to have the leverage to get them to leave. They should be offered opportunity to cease their attack. Oh. Right, and do you right. think they'll actually do that? It doesn't matter whether or not they'll actually do that. What matters is we gave them the opportunity to do so. Well, you do that, and I'll be not in sight. <laughs> One second, guys. Need to be but yeah, no, I'm... Gallif is pretty set on facing them head-on and announcing his presence. 
Uh, Nuwada didn't kill all the giants. Nuwada dealt with giants. It is so. He faced well, the Maybe if Nuwada had killed, then we wouldn't have this problem right now, now would we? <laughs> we Gallif looks at Levy <laughs> like Clary. <laughs> These gnomes, they just go right for the... <laughs> no, no, he clearly doesn't know much about the gods. Crazy egg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't don't bring don't bring me out of this. <laughs> Silver hand is like flexing, <laughs> fist clenched. So, um, we should definitely establish our goal. Is it to defeat the enemy and send them and send them running? Is it to steal the treasure out from underneath them? Defeat them. Uh, I think it's both. It's to cut off He's... the head of a snake. Usually, when you defeat your enemies, the spoils belong to you. By Right of conquest. It is too uh, bad we don't have an Oberon here with us. The big problem is if that is fortification for farmer and sheep, then that is not what protect treasury. What protect treasury fly around and is underwater. Hmm. Right. So we need to know what the threat is. Otherwise get we get too busy, do one thing, and then we get it from behind. All right. I think locating um, the treasure is. I will go to the idea. treasury. I'll go to the. I'll go to the water and do my thing. I'll be back in a second. I'll be back in about three hours. <laughs> check, check the island too that they were feeding on. All right. Maybe so I could do that. The bat is going to fly and make his way over there. And I solve puzzle of missing treasury. I will have second dinner. Do you have another potion? Do you have another potion? Do, do you have another potion of the sea invisibility? Do you need a sea invisibility? I just don't want to get attacked by something that's fucking invisible. Okay, I prep a third circle extract as a sea invisibility and I hand it to you. Thanks. Nice. Uh, pick, pick it up in the closet. Let's just. Is there anything else that. Line breaker isn't going to do anything for you, so yeah. No, that's... no, that's fine. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Speaking of humans and venturing parties, there was a great article about humans in Star Trek and how insane they are. Humans in Star Trek. Well, the the society of humans is pretty weird. No, and it talks about how just insane humans are if you if you kind of like objectively look at how they solve problems compared to how Vulcans and Klingons solve problems. Uh, it was actually a really good read. Let me let me I'll, I'll look for it while you guys are planning. <clears throat> I'm thinking of taking to, um, uh, Dane Kinder. Not now, but when we go fight. Um. Probably. Now, uh, you find thing. Uh, be very careful. Um, the over. Oh, he does not have a spell. Uh, was this was uh, Marty? Is Marty there? Yeah. I'm here. He's oh, there. so so underground was that stone, and the building was it stone as well? Um, was it stone? Uh, it was starting to hit. Um, you grassle itself. So stone ish. I'm just trying to figure out if, if, if Spike Stones was going to do anything. Probably not. Are you. Are you scouting or are you. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go and okay. do my uh, thing. I'm just checking. Um, I'm just checking to see if there's anything okay. that I would have that would help you I, in a pinch. No, no, I, I, I let me can get out of most things without an issue. Yeah. Uh, I cast Long Strider Greater on myself because I haven't done that today. Boop. So I move at 100. Long Strider Greater affects all movement types? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 for everything cool. and 20 for ground. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty pimp. <laughs> um, if we're going to ask for surrender, maybe you should see if the prince wants to do it. He is, after all, 
the highest ranking member. Um, I'd, I'd like to give. Uh, I would like to give the lads. <laughs> I'd like to give the lads um, a chance to. I'll go ask right. him. Are we done being <laughs> pussy no, 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 cowards no, no, no. who sneak around and like <laughs> yeah. don't announce their presence and fight their enemies front to front? Remy's gonna go and talk to the prince. Yep. He, he's watching you guys from afar. Augie, come over here. <laughs> Augie. Yeah. Augie comes over. Uh, here's the prince. Yes, my friends. I, um, apparently, we're gonna ask for the surrender of the uh, orcs, giants, and hobgoblins over there. Uh, would you, as the uh, prince, care to uh, make the request? <laughs> no. Excuse me, Uker. You are not the prince. He is the prince. He decides. I. How many? He says. Um, About two hundred or so. Couple five. hundred. So there's an army. Yes, it's deliver, a skirmish. And we're going to deliver terms. Uh, Interesting, uh, he says. Right um, up there, arse, we are. <laughs> <laughs> he, gives a, he gives a quirky smile. He's not sure about uh, Remy. All right, so, so uh, look, you, you, you can't go. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, ro royalty or anybody of import is not the one to deliver a message. Perhaps the flying ship would give them pause about attacking us. Uh, flying ship, they also throw rock, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're very good at throwing rocks. He nods like he understands. No, no, no. This will take the powers of Nuwada and Thor. Hmm. These are gonna, this is going to be a very messy battle. Both the powers um, of Vosgard and Nalbrin. He nods. Fear Bolg are the, excuse me, for you giants, uh, Jot Jotun, are the traditional enemies of the Wada Silverhand. Listen. They said that they drove giants out of Nalbrin when they first came to that land. Our histories are full of battles against the Jotun. All right. What few uh, are left have learned to fear us. Um, here, here's yeah, the thing. Yeah, they look fucking terrified. All um, right. <laughs> Remy, would you be ready to? Would you be ready to t take out that witch very quickly? Of course. All right. Then, if we're gonna go and deliver terms, I can come no, with someone. Uh, no, 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 no. We are waiting to see where treasury is to know what other bad thing they have. Yeah, that, ah. that that's first, regardless. Right, of right, fine. Find the treasure first. Then we'll call we'll them to. Okay, we'll call bye, them bye, bye, Captain. Well, hang on, bye, bye, fucking, Captain. fucking cousin, I fucking hate right, that. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is it? You check the lake, I'll check the island. Uker. Yeah, that's what you said last time. Okay, I'm just making sure, because you never right, confirmed. Alright, you go to the island. No, you go you to the island. You don't talk. You don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uker, I... As they fly away. <laughs> 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 okay, so, so they're, they're, they're bickering, basically. Yeah. <laughs> there have been many times since I've come to know you that I've been worried about you. <clears throat> but since you found Thor, and you got the... Josen Hammer. I think things will work out well for you. It is good to see you find your place in this world. It is good to see you happy again. It is. Slaps you on the side of the arm. Gallus is pretty strong. He's not Uker yeah. maxed yeah. out strong, yeah, yeah, but he's but pretty strong. strong. <clears throat> it is. Uh... Times have been. Dark. It is it's true. good to have something more than you. That is what I have clung to as well. It will be good to see the power of Thor in action. I'm going to pull down the dam. It's going to be awesome! <laughs> <laughs> I expected nothing less of you, my friend. Uh, oh, to all those that see the dam. Yeah. <laughs> so we, first, we give them a chance to you're using your surrender. Third uh, wild shape of the day, or the fourth? Because it sounds I'm, like it when sounds I like when I get there, it's still in my second, and I'm no, gonna turn. So it sounds like you turned back because you accepted a potion. No, I, I didn't. I didn't. I pick it up he as said a bat. In his claws. Okay, so the bat can, I guess, carry a 
something that doesn't technically have weight. Yep. <clears throat> okay. So, <laughs> how does the bat drink the potion? Those slitted eyes said, "Don't." He just he grabs it with both claws, sticks his mouth on it, and turns over on his back. <laughs> There's yeah, a chance you, you, it might not work. Yeah, you, okay, so you've, you've got the potion in your clutches. Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be like a squirrel trying to drink a can of pop. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of chittering for the, for the, for the, for the awesome within. Um, <clears throat> let me see. That looks like fun. <laughs> Coca Cola squirrel. Uh, all right, so uh, you guys are going back. Are you you're turning invisible again? And you guys are flying back to uh, Grudhog. So. Uh, yep. Ten minutes. You've got the potion in your hands or in your in your clutches. You fly back yeah. to Grudhog and you see the calm the calm lake that they've created. There may have been a lake here before and it was just much lower, but uh, they definitely dammed it up. Okay. You can see the island. Um, you don't see the. Uh, yeah, they're actually camping out there. Okay. Uh, now I'm switching to my air elemental form. Let me just stick them 600 feet, like, to scale away from... Okay. Away from the map. Coke. Oh, God. They're so um, far away. So, so, let's see. I have a couple of spells I want to use for this. Uh, do you need any spells? No, I'll be fine. All right. Um, don't die. Ah, uh, you either. I'll do my best. Oh, they paid oh, up. Oh, fuck, I died. Ah, <laughs> 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 no, you don't either. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Alright, so first I will color in a lot of Water. Mm. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, gonna make a little my island. I'm putting my token, I'm putting stuff on my token. So, invisible. I will redo the water on a background tab as opposed to a foreground tab. We'll draw the little island right there on the strip of land. And I will put trees on the island. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. I will try to make it not look like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. It depends on the day. Some days. It looks like a douche nozzle now. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> shit. Oh, I rescue this map now. <laughs> That's fine. I'll just leave it as is. Water breathing. Lasts for two... Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yes. Yes. It is amazing. Yep. Yep. Water breathing. Three movements, water breathing, visibility, elemental... Right. Oh, scene visibility. So there's... There's the the island compared to where Grud Hog is. Um, and then I'll put down a campfire. Looks like the orcs are making camp out there. I don't know if I can trust 
Star Trek references on a link called StarDestroyer.net. <laughs> this feels like it might be misinformation. It's a funny article. I enjoyed it. It's why it's it's why it's why humans are insane. And also, oh wait a second, Star Destroyer. That's not me. No, that's the one that uh, John just put up. I was on Tor. dot com. <laughs> but... I bought them both up, and I might be poking through them. Okay. <laughs> Token library items campfire. Okay. Well, so wild shapes three. Um, so these spells, we'll see what I'm blowing out now. Uh, free movements. Okay, it's gone. Um, all right, so you're flying out to the island, Mark. I'm breathing yeah. one. And what's Lemmy doing? You're casting a bunch of spells beforehand. I or? cast three spells. And are you drinking that potion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I turn into an air elemental. I drink the potion. A small air elemental. I drink the potion. I can you be very precise with the order of operations, please? Yeah, I turn into a small. I put the bottle on the ground. Okay. I turn into a small air elemental. Pick it up and drink it. Okay. All right. Uh, freedom, freedom of movement. He, he got it. It wasn't what he was saying. It was what he was yeah. trying to say. Because yeah. had he just kind of turned into an air elemental, the potion it would, would be have in his air elemental mode. Exactly. Um, uh, freedom of movement, water breathing, scene visibility. Uh, and then, oh, what am I looking for? Two of the no, I already have that one. Water breathing is one. Yeah. Okay. So one, one point. Ooh. All those stupid generic tokens that we created. Clogging up my search. No, they were, they were good, but... Uh, we definitely abandoned that idea. Oops, sorry. I minimize everything on my desktop, dealing with the 50 things I've got open. I'm just creating a token. <laughs> the article. Right? Having fun there, huh? <laughs> I need a mute. <laughs> The article's pretty funny. It's about why humans, uh, <laughs> why, why, why the Vulcans let the humans be in charge of Starfleet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Last time we gave you an extra warp core, you threw it to the sun to see if you'd go twice as fast. <laughs> <laughs> it gets better. Oh, the gods must be crazy? Yeah, it's a good one. All right, so let me cast a bunch of spells and drinks the potion, turning into an air elemental. You said, yeah. Okay, but you've got freedom of movement on, so you're fine. And Remy Nay, you're just flying invisible. Yeah, and you can fly all day long. Yeah, it's uh, it's a constant fly effect. Okay. Uh, go ahead and move your miniatures, guys. I'll uh, I'll stop. All right. Um... Oh shit! Those are number. <sighs> Sploosh. Sploosh. All right, let me start. Oh, actually, let me start detecting uh, magic. <coughs> okay, well, you're going to move pretty slow, concentrating. Um, how long? Uh, what is it, half speed? Yep. So I move, I move at 50. All right, so you're wandering through the water. You're kind of sonaring for magic. Yeah. Um, let me give me a perception check because you're down there. Uh, 
All right, let's do this. Okay, perception. Oh, fuck, I passed it. There it goes. Uh, 1d20 plus 29. And uh, if it's distance, I ignore the first five. Sure. Add five. Mm. 